Understanding the Right to Return, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore the meaning of an important phrase, right to return. This phrase is used in various contexts, and understanding its nuances can really enhance your English skills. Let's dive in. The phrase, right to return, refers to the legal or moral right of a person to return to their country of origin or citizenship. It's often used in discussions about refugees or displaced people. This right is recognized in international law and is a key concept in human rights discussions. Understanding the historical background is crucial. The concept of right to return gained prominence after World War II, especially in relation to displaced individuals and refugees. It is enshrined in various international treaties and declarations, reflecting its global importance. Here's where it gets interesting. The right to return isn't limited to international law. It can also be found in consumer policies, where it refers to a customer's right to return a product they've purchased. Notice how the context changes the meaning slightly but significantly. Let's see some examples. 1. The refugees exercise their right to return to their homeland after the conflict. 2. The store's right to return policy allows customers to return items within 30 days. It's easy to confuse right to return with the act of returning something or someone to a previous state. However, in legal and human rights contexts, it specifically refers to the right of people to go back to their country of origin. And that's a wrap on the right to return. Whether it's in the context of international law or a shopping trip, this phrase carries significant weight. I hope this video has been informative and helpful in understanding its varied uses. Happy learning and see you in our next English adventure.